All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of Bladebridge Converter. In today's session, I will demonstrate how to convert Snowflake JavaScript procedures into Databricks. I will be using our generic SQL converter, which is called SQLConf. If I run it without any command line options, I'll get help and the version number. And just for general information, our converters can run on Windows and Linux. This is the code that I will be converting. It's a JavaScript store procedure. It has a couple of DML statements and it has a dynamic SQL part as well with the Snowflake's uh, JavaScript API being invoked. At this point, I will go ahead and execute the converter. This is the full converter command. It has the configuration file name, part of the command, and the full command with an additional argument of the source file name. My target folder is currently empty, so I'll run the bat file, and I'll get my output. Now, the output file is structured as a Python uh, function. There are two options available currently in the converter. One is generating a Python function, and the other one is generating a Databricks notebook with markdowns, which I'm going to demonstrate in a few minutes. Uh, the way the, the converter works is it breaks down the script into multiple fragments, and it works on each fragment independently. For example, it encounters a couple of DML statements, so it converts them appropriately into Databricks compatible format. So snowflake.execute gets converted into Spark SQL call, and Snowflake function calls such as day name get converted into Databricks function calls such as date format. The same happened with rtrim length function call, it got converted into length rtrim nested function calls. The last statement in the store procedure was a dyna dynamic SQL, which got converted to Databricks equivalent with a return statement. Now, how does the converter know how to convert code from source syntax to target syntax? This converter as all of our converters use, uses a JSON config file that has quite a few instructions on how to apply substitutions and utilize other more, com more complex and involved facilities to convert syntaxes and dialects between two different SQL platforms. One of the mechanisms that it employs is called function substitution. that tells the converter how to search for certain function calls, perhaps check for argument patterns or numbers, not number of arguments, and convert the calls into appropriate format. In the example that I showed earlier, rtrim length getting converted to nest function call, this is the instruction responsible for this particular conversion. And the format of these instructions is such that we have the from clause that is basically a trapper and the output template that tells the converter what the output should be. The tokens $1, $2, etc. denote the original arguments passed to the uh, Snowflake function call. Those could be either individual operands or this could be expressions or nested function calls. It doesn't really matter for the converter. It will still convert them correctly. Another mode of operation, as I mentioned, is generating Databricks notebooks. In order to enable that mode, I need to go to this switch, change procedures to function, and flip it to false. 
And if I rerun the converter, I will get the same code, but in the form of Databricks notebook with a markdown language. All the translations are still done in the same manner. It's just that the orchestration of these statements is done using the notebook. And just to recap what we've done today, we took a Snowflake JavaScript store procedure, ran it through BladeBridge Converter to generate both a Databricks notebook with a markdown and, and a Python function compatible with Databricks that is functionally equivalent to the original Snowflake store procedure. And this concludes today's demo. Thanks for listening in.